everyone. So most of us have heard about insulin resistance. Some of us have also been told that we struggle with hormonal issues and therefore we also have insulin resistance and we need to manage our insulin levels better. But how many of us actually know what exactly insulin resistance really is? I'm sure not many of us. So that is exactly what we will be discussing in this video. We'll be talking about what is insulin resistance and I'm also going to tell you five ways in which you can manage your insulin levels better. So if this is something that you would like to know more about, definitely watch this video till the end. So hi everyone, I am Dr. Zainab Tajir. I am a homeopathy consultant and psychological counsellor. I specialize in helping women better their hormones and improve their fertility through homeopathy and holistic lifestyle changes. So if you fancy content around this, do consider subscribing to my channel. So let's start with the basics. What exactly is insulin? So insulin is a hormone that is secreted by our pancreas and its primary role is blood sugar regulation. So as soon as we eat something, our pancreas start releasing insulin and the insulin is like a key to all the cells. The primary job of insulin is to go to a cell, act as a key, open the door to the cell and then help all the sugar in the blood to enter into the cells for so that the cells can utilize it for its proper functioning and for its energy. So it helps us manage blood sugar and also lower the sugars in the blood. So you might wonder what really happens when we say you've been struggling with insulin resistance. In that case, what happens is the cells stop responding to this key. So the cells do not respond to insulin. They cannot open the door to the cell even if insulin is present in the bloodstream. Because of that, the excessive sugar that is present in the blood cannot enter the cells, which causes a rise in the blood sugar levels. Now, in response to these high blood sugar levels, our brain forces the pancreas to start releasing more and more insulin. So what happens is there is excess blood sugar and excess insulin. All of this results into a cascade of symptoms then in our body. So for somebody with high blood sugar levels is prone to developing diabetes and also excessive insulin levels can make you prone to hormonal dysregulation. So what this excess insulin does is it inhibits the level of SHBG hormone, which is a sex hormone binding globulin, which causes estrogen excess in our body. And then for women, they start exhibiting symptoms of estrogen excess, like fibroids, heavy breasts, heavy periods, etc, etc. So if you are someone who's struggling with PCOS, fibroids, endometriosis, adenomyosis, hormonal dysregulation, etc. Managing your insulin resistance becomes the key to resolving all these hormonal issues. So we're quickly going to delve into five ways in which you can manage these insulin levels better and stabilize your blood sugar levels. So definitely don't miss watching this video ahead. The first thing that you need to do in order to manage your insulin and blood sugar levels better is to eat in the right order. Now, our food is primarily divided into various groups like carbohydrates, proteins, fats, fibers, etc. Out of these food groups, carbohydrates are foods that are instantly absorbed into our bloodstream and can cause blood sugar spikes. So, it's very important for us to begin every meal with fibers first, followed by proteins and fats, and then eat our carbs. What this does is it slows down the absorption of carbohydrates into the blood and helps you avoid those blood sugar spikes and also gives insulin enough time to manage your blood sugar levels. So this can really be a game changer. The second most important thing is to avoid eating foods that you know are going to spike your blood sugars. So processed foods, junk food, maida, refined flour, etc. Everything that we know of is unhealthy, can really stimulate increased blood sugar levels and therefore the key is to stay away from all of these. Exercise is another important thing that can be a game changer, especially in managing your blood sugar levels better. So the one thing that we do recommend is walking for 10 minutes 10 minutes after your meals. So this can help you stabilize blood sugar levels. 
secondly incorporating 30 to 40 minutes of physical activity into a daily routine which is usually a mix of cardio and strength training can also help you stabilize your sugar levels better my fourth important tip would be to have apple cider vinegar daily so one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar diluted in a glass of water and you need to consume this 15 to 30 minutes before your meals a lot of clinical trials and research has shown that apple cider vinegar taken before meals can help lower blood sugar levels so something as simple as zinc this can also be very important and the last and the most important thing is your sleep i know this sounds very basic but adequate sleep can play a very important role in managing your hormone levels better including managing your insulin levels and so it is important for you to make sure that you get a consistent six to eight hours of sleep daily now we are all very aware that insulin resistance can also play an important role in fertility because they can disrupt your reproductive hormones and this is not only applicable for men but also for women so if you are on a stage in your life where you're trying to conceive it's very important for you to learn to manage your insulin levels better so if you are someone who's struggling with insulin resistance or you are trying to conceive it's very important to incorporate healthy dietary and lifestyle changes into your routine now if you have any more questions related to this please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and also i appreciate you sticking by till the end so see ya until next time